Welcome to week one of using educational technology in the English language classroom. I'm Carol Chappelle, and I'll be doing the lecture today. The title is Technology and English Language Learning. We're going to start with an overview of the many different ways that teachers are using educational technology for English language teaching today. We'll also meet the experts that will be participating in the course by sharing their expertise in various topics. Let's get started. In this lecture, we'll start by looking at the connection between computer technology and language. Then, we'll talk more specifically about technology and the English language. Next, we'll move to the topic of technologies for learning in general. Technologies are used across a wide variety of educational subjects. And then, more specifically, we'll turn to our topic of technology for English language learning. And we'll look at the things that we're going to talk about in this course and meet some of the experts that will be joining us over the eight-week period. Computer technology today has a very strong connection with the language because so many people use technology for communication. When we communicate, we choose what we want to express. But in addition, today, we choose what technology to use. If we look at the examples in the pictures, we see students with their smartphones that are used for communication using text messages and email. And we'll see the internet, where students are looking at a wide variety of sources. They also participate by communicating through the internet. Students use their mobile devices to communicate everywhere by using oral language, written language, and visuals as well. Overall, these technologies have really expanded the ways we communicate with each other. Long ago, we used to communicate using face-to-face -face oral communication. That changed with the addition of written language and paper. And now, once again, our technologies for communication have developed to give us many and varied opportunities for communication. With the increase in the modes of communication that technology provides, people throughout the world are able to connect using the internet, and a lot of the communication that goes on is done in English. English has become the global language, the language that many people use for communication because so many people know English. So English has a special relationship with technology because the spread of technology has also been accompanied in many cases by the spread of English, the spread of opportunities to learn English, and the spread of opportunities to communicate with a variety of different people throughout the world. Technologies today are widely used not only for communication, but also for learning. In many schools and universities, course materials are delivered by computer. And in some courses, the books are not being used anymore, but instead, computer technology is used. Students use interactive technology to do their course assignments. Students also use course management systems to submit their assignments to their teachers and to communicate with each other and with the teacher. These three connections to technology contribute to the topic of our course. In other words, our topic is affected by these three larger trends in society. The connection between technology and language, the connection between technology and learning, and the connection between technology and the English language. All of those connections operate outside of our classrooms, but they all impact what happens with how we use technology for English language learning. All these larger societal trends provide new opportunities for us to use technology for English language teaching and learning.